Well, good morning, and at this famous finish line, the cosmos will come to us. And with the sport of racing that's all about time and motion and speed, organizers say the moment of totality, it'll be like the world around us, comes to a halt. It's where speed, science, and the celestial event of a generation all align. Yeah, I mean, race cars and an eclipse, like, does it get any better than well, that? Nicole Rail is one of the lead scientists with NASA's Heliophysics Division, and she'll be watching the eclipse here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. She tells us why getting a better view during an eclipse of energy coming from the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, is so important. That energy sometimes can impact spacecraft that we have on orbit, things like GPS and navigation, which I don't know if you're like me, I rely on my GPS, like, to get around my neighborhood, otherwise I get lost, and if those systems go down because of activity going on in space. That's a big impact for us here on Earth. At the Speedway Monday, we'll see scientists, spectators, and even Indy 500 winners like Alexander Rossi. You have 50,000 people who are here for the same thing and are, are excited and interested in the same thing and there's a build-up to the event. Part of that build-up, a racing demonstration on the track when that wraps. But they're going to open the racetrack so you can watch it pretty much from anywhere and uh, We'll love it. I mean, not a lot of people get a chance to actually walk the track. Purdue University's Dr. Barrett Caldwell, one of the event organizers, says this moment may inspire future scientists. It is just a tremendously uh, complete visceral experience. So we're going to be waiting for 1.50 in the afternoon. That's when the eclipse begins here in Indianapolis. The cosmic crescendo, though, that comes at 3.06 p.m. That is the height of totality lasting for 3 minutes and 49 seconds. That's the latest reporting here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm Mike Valerio. Back to you.